Hi everyone, welcome back to this short tutorial from Pathology Made Simple at ilopathology.com and supported by this active learning platform Vistolia. After completion of the understanding of pneumonias, today let's learn a very important complication of pneumonia that's lung abscess. So we will look into the, the definition of lung abscess, the etiopathogenesis, the morphology, the clinical features, the various complications of the lung abscess itself and finally a bit about treatment and prognosis of lung abscess. So what is this lung abscess? As the name says, this is a localized area of suppuration within the pulmonary parenchyma. Okay? Area of suppuration is abscess in the pulmonary parenchyma meaning lung, that's lung abscess that results in the formation of one or more large cavities. The most important thing which you need to understand now is that there is always destruction of pulmonary parenchyma which includes alveoli, airways as well as the blood vessels. Now let's see how these organisms are introduced into the lungs causing lung abscess. The first and the foremost thing is that aspiration of infective material usually from caries teeth or infected sinuses or tonsils. For example, whenever there is an oral surgery, when the patient is being anesthetized, patient is in coma, alcoholic intoxication, debilitated patients with depressed cough reflexes, all these patients, you know, they have the increased probabilities or possibilities of aspiration of infective material from these infected sinuses or tonsils or even caries teeth. The second important way the organisms can be introduced is aspiration of gastric content which often together with the infectious organisms originating in the oropharynx. Again, the same predisposing conditions like the coma, the alcoholic intoxication, debilitated patients with depressed cough reflexes. The third one is the complication of necrotizing pneumonias. As I told you, when we discussed about the pneumonias, one of the complications is lung abscess, right? It can either be bacterial pneumonia or fungal pneumonia. The most common organisms which have the propensity to develop lung abscess, you know, they are uh, Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus pyogenes, Klebsiella pneumonia and Pseudomonas species. So, it can be complication of any form of necrotizing pneumonias or severe pneumonias. It can be as a part of complication of bronchiectasis. We know that the bronchiectasis is dilatation of bronchi and bronchioles. Bronchial obstruction can also lead to the formation of lung abscess. Most often uh, in the setting of patient having neoplasms because the neoplasms can impair the drainage and can result in the atelectasis of the distal you know, airways. It can also result in aspiration of blood and tumor fragments and sometimes the tumor itself can cavitate okay? and there, there will be infection resulting in lung abscess. Septic embolism, you know, the infect, if the patient is having infective endocarditis, from that infective foci, so that's the infective endocarditis, particularly on the right side of the heart. From here, it can reach the lung parenchyma through the pulmonary blood vessels, right? And cause infection, suppurative inflammation and lung abscess in the pulmonary parenchyma. It can also be through hematogenous spread of bacteria, particularly when the patient is having disseminated Biogenic infection, particularly staphylococcal bacteremia. The abscess can also result, you know, by a colonization of uh, pre-existing cavity region. Say, for example, you have a cavity somewhere in the lung parenchyma because of complication of any of the chronic pneumonias. In those cavities, the organisms can colonize, resulting in inflammation and forming lung abscess. The most common ones being the fungal. The fungal among the fungal, you have Aspergillus, Cryptococcus, Histoplasma, Blastomyces, Coccidioidomycosis, Mucormycosis. Can all these things can colonize, resulting in lung abscess in these cavity lesions? Mycobacterium tuberculosis, non you know, tuberculous mycobacterium can all can result in the cavity lesion, thereby lung abscess. Sometimes parasites, Entamoeba histolytica, Paragonimus, Westermanni and Echinococcus can all result in lung abscess. The other causes include uh, direct injury to the lung, particularly when there is traumatic penetrations of the lung parenchyma. It can also be direct extension of separative infections involving the esophagus, infections involving the spine or the sub a phrenic space or even the pleural cavity can result in the formation of lung abscess.
now what are all the organisms which can be isolated from the lung abscess apart from the routine organisms mentioned earlier you know all the causative organisms of the pneumonias apart from these there is always you know there is anaerobic bacteria which will be present in almost all lung abscesses and these anaerobic bacteria can be exclusive isolates in up to one third to two thirds of cases and the source of these anaerobic bacteria is the oral cavity where these are normal commensals okay for example prevotella fusobacterium bacteroids streptococcus and micro aerophilic streptococci all these can be seen in the lung abscess now though we have seen lots of these causes sometimes you might not find any cause and that's when you call it as primary cryptogenic lung abscesses what are the morphologic features of lung abscess on macroscopy these abscess foci can be as small as few millimeter to as large as five to six centimeters it can involve any part of the lung if the lung abscess is because of aspiration it's usually seen on the right side of the lung because the right bronchi is more straighter more vertical than the left bronchus the number of uh, foci of lung, lung abscess depends upon the etiology if it is aspiration it is usually single and large if it is pneumonia or bronchiectasis it's usually multiple and most often they are found in the basal location of the lung if it is a septic emboli or pyemic abscesses it can be multiple can be seen anywhere across the lungs microscopically uh, uh, in the acute lung abscess you know acute you know, acute lung, lung abscess meaning in the acute stage it is not really distinctly separated from the surrounding lung parenchyma all you see is the collection of neutrophils in the affected area depending upon the duration you can see uh, macrophages and as well as the necrotic tissue debris Initially, as I told you, it can be surrounded by hemorrhage, fibrin and inflammation. In the long-standing cases, the abscess is walled off by a thick fibrous tissue. Okay? So, there will be fibrous wall around the margin of the cavity of these lung abscess. Now, how does these lung abscess progress? See, as the separate foci enlarges, it can rupture into the airways and there can be partial drainage of the content of this abscess and this is the reason why you can see the air and fluid level in radiologic examinations because of the partial drainage of the content in the air space in this becomes a cavity which contains both fluid as well as air right so you can have this air fluid level so what are the complications of having a lung abscess it can rupture into the pleural cavity and you can have pus in the pleural cavity and that's called empyema it can erode into the adjacent blood vessels if at all you have a blood vessel there if the blood vessel is adjacent to the main uh, if one of the bronchi it can lead to severe hemoptysis blood in sputum it can drain into the bronchus and through the bronchus it can spread into multiple parts of the lungs septic emboli can also reach the brain resulting in either meningitis or brain abscesses in the chronic cases it can result in secondary amyloidosis so what are all the clinical features of uh, patients having lung abscess patients usually present with fever malaise and cough and this cough is often large amounts containing foul smelling purulent sputum if the uh, infection extends into the pleura patients manifest with pleuritic type of chest pain occasionally as i told you if there is erosion of blood vessels patient manifest with hemoptysis there can be clubbing of fingers there can be weight loss as well as anemia in long standing cases but one thing you need to be aware of lung abscess is that if you find a lung abscess in elderly patients you have to rule out underlying cancer because lung abscess can be seen in 10 to 15% of cases of lung cancers particularly when it is a squamous cell carcinoma of the lung how do you treat lung abscess always it is antibiotic therapy which is principally directed against the anaerobic bacteria because that's difficult to treat if needed to perform surgical drainage or resection of the affected part of the lung if it is multiple in spite of you no know, vigorous treatment the prognosis is it can lead to death in around 5 to 10 percent of patients so that's about lung abscess if you want to know how you have understood this topic 
I would suggest you to click on the link below in the description as well as in the pin comment so that you can solve the multiple choice questions and you know clinical scenario based questions. This is via Visdolia. This is an active learning platform. The good thing about this is that you will get feedback if you go wrong and it is fun to learn. I would suggest you to attempt these practice sessions from the link below. Thank you for watching. If you have liked the video, hit the like button, do comment. If you find this video useful, do consider subscribing and also sharing to your friends. Thank you.